Thank you, Jeremy, and uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Well, I can tell you in my eight years uh, as AD for ASU baseball, uh, I have seen a lot. Uh, I've certainly heard a lot, uh, but I've also learned a lot. Uh, and so Sun Devil baseball is not ordinary in any way. Uh, rather, it is extraordinary in many ways. It is absolutely special. And so in evaluating the state of the program, particularly as we look toward where we're going, uh, I came to this conclusion. In order to get it back, we have to give it back. And that is in order to get back the energy and the passion and the commitment and love of AS, ASU baseball from our fans and our former players and our alums and our donors, then we need to give ASU baseball program back to our fans and our former players and our alums and our donors. And I concluded with advice from trusted colleagues that we needed to give the program back through the heart and soul of a new leader who himself has personally and passionately lived and loved ASU baseball on the diamond, in the dugout, in the classroom, and in the community. And we have him. We have him now. And so on behalf of President Michael Crow and all of us in Sun Devil Athletics, I am delighted to introduce the new head coach for Sun Devil Baseball, Willie Bloomquist. Willie, welcome, my man. Glad to have you. Thank you, Ray. Happy to be here. You're on mute, Jeff. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear him say my name, sorry. Um, yeah, so this happened really quick, Ray. Um, what, can you just go through the process a little bit that got you to make this, um, this hire this fast? Well, Jeff, you, you, you certainly know that uh, one, of my one of my jobs, uh, one of my responsibilities, obligations is to uh, anticipate uh, and then be prepared for certain scenarios and options depending on facts and circumstances. So uh, it wasn't like we hadn't given some thought to what options and scenarios might be presented to us. Uh, and so uh, it was uh, not anything that we didn't uh, prepare for. And so once it became clear that we needed to take action, uh, we took action uh, and that led us to uh, what we feel is the absolute best fit for this program going forward, and that's Willie. Ray Hold Rabino, Devil's Digest. Does the success of uh, alumnus such as Greg Powers with hockey and Zeke Jones in wrestling also give you some kind of confidence, for lack of a better term, that hiring an alumnus for the baseball program is, is also a hire that could be proved beneficial just because of the elements that you talked earlier of, of being a Sun Devil through and through. Uh, yes, and include Missy uh, K. Far, Far K, Miss Missy in there as well with women's golf. Uh, there is certainly uh, a, a familiar, familiarity, a, a love and a passion that I think uh, is elevated when you've actually lived in this environment, lived in this culture of ASU uh, athletics. And certainly uh, uh, that applied that thinking and evaluating this position. Uh, and that's why uh, at the end of the day, uh, Willie, very frankly, was the idea. And I think, we think the perfect candidate, the perfect one to lead us forward. He has that culture. He has that passion. We're very excited about him. Mark McClune. Hey guys, question is is for Willie. Um, is uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, right, hold on, we're gonna do Willie later. Okay, okay. Then then Ray, uh, I, if you could expand on just uh, just his leadership style, what does it mean to bring in you know not only a guy that uh, 
uh, has been in the program and been through it and been at the top with the program, but also with his major league baseball experience. Well, I don't think there's any question that the, uh, the combination of his experiences here and then major league baseball and then in major league baseball, even out of uniform, uh, his work with the Diamondbacks uh, all lend to very co great confidence uh, that Willie uh, is more than ready for this 14 years of actually playing the game at the high level uh, with some of the best teachers and managers like Lou Pinella and others for whom he worked and collaborated with, uh, I think unequivocally makes him uh, uh, very competent for this job. Uh, when the word went out this morning, I talked to Gary Pettis. Uh, and Gary Pettis uh, uh, could not have been more effusive in his praise and congratulations on Willie becoming our head coach. Uh, to be sure, uh, Harold Reynolds likewise weighed in about Willie, uh, saying, Ray, you can't get a better fit for anything and certainly not for the ASU program. So uh, we got a lot of confirmation during our due diligence process, and then we've had some validation here in the last couple hours that indeed uh, we have done the correct thing for ASU baseball. Again, guys, just remember, we're going to start with Ray and then we'll do questions for Willie after. So more questions for Ray. Please use the raise hand function. Michael, go ahead. Hey, Ray, Michael Bearball, CronkiteSports.com. Hey, um, on Monday, you said that you were going to have discussions with uh, coaches on the current staff. I was wondering if uh, you had those discussions at all throughout the week and uh, how those went and if if any of them are going to be a part of the future of Sun Devil Baseball. Yes, I've uh, had discussions with uh, two of the three coaches on staff. Uh, Willie can address what discussion he has had. Uh, the final determination on who is going to be the assistant coaches on the staff uh, will be made by uh, Willie Bloomquist, new head coach. I do not uh, uh, impose uh, that type of stuff on any of our head coaches. I try to be available if they want my counsel, uh, but Willie will make those determinations. Ethan. Hey, Ray, this was such a quick turnaround. Uh, did you have Willie in mind when you made the firing or what did it just happen to be so quick? Uh, I've always got uh, uh, candidates in mind, as I said, as you're preparing my responsibility is depending on facts and circumstances, you got to be prepared to take action. Uh, and in this day and age, when you have the transfer portal, you have recruiting, uh, you want to uh, make decisions as uh, promptly as you can, as long as you're comfortable that you're making the right decision. Uh, and so we had to determine that uh, we were prepared uh, to make the decision now and absolutely confident and comfortable that because we had done our homework, done our due diligence, uh, we're able to make the decision on Willie very promptly uh, as part of the process. Jeff. Probably the biggest question is when you hire someone that hasn't coached before, what, what, what are the biggest determining factors to say, yeah, we're convinced this can work even if it's um, an unconventional hire? Somebody's dog. Uh, you know, the way I evaluate it, uh, Jeff, is that when you have a situation like Willie, who played professionally uh, for 14 years uh, with some fine organizations, uh, he has uh, been around some of the best coaching and managing that he has absorbed, uh, and he will be able to bring those skill sets here. Uh, and then also, uh, my view is that what a, what a manager and a head coach in baseball does as much as anything uh, is set the, the culture and the tone and the energy and the uh, uh, environment for excellence. Uh, and I think that's a big part of being a, a college head coach. Uh, and so I certainly believe that Willie will overcome any so-called technical on the field coaching that he uh, may not have in his resume by all the other things that he has accumulated. Uh, and then Willie really was very emphatic about the people I'm going to surround myself with, uh, be they folks coming in or the existing coaches uh, who will essentially operate, uh, I think, more effectively, uh, collaboratively, uh, led me to believe that that was going to be something that would be easily overcomable, Jeff, a lack of per se coaching experience. Michael. 
Ray, for someone in your position, what are you looking for in Willie um, that you thought you weren't getting in Tracy in terms of making the change? Or uh, was it, in your opinion, just time for an, a new voice in the room? Uh, I'm going to address uh, my uh, comments strictly to Willie. And I, I said it in the open comments. Uh, Willie has lived ASU baseball passionately uh, uh, for years, uh, has represented this community uh, uh, wonderfully uh, for years, uh, was able to essentially articulate, uh, and you'll get that when you talk to him more, uh, that this Sun Devil stuff runs through people's blood. Uh, and so it was very clear to me that we needed to re-energize ASU baseball. We need to try to recapture some of that glory day swagger and belief and commitment. Willie lived it at the highest level of anyone who's ever put on this uniform. And so let's bring back one of those players who had actually been in the trenches with ASU baseball, understands what the uh, uh, expectations are, and try to get us back to that level of confidence uh, and swagger uh, and belief and commitment and culture that had this baseball pro program humming for decades. That's what we see in Willie. And so that was a big part uh, of, of Willie. We've got to give the program back through someone who has lived passionately ASU baseball because this is an extraordinary place with extraordinary expectations, and we're going to figure out how to meet them. We think that's through Willie Bloomquist. We'll take the last couple of questions for Ray. Zach. Hey, Ray, Zach Keenan here for Devil's Digest today. How you hey, doing? Zach, how you doing, man? I'm good, thanks. Good, thanks. I wanted to ask about you're hiring a big leaguer here, and that kind of reminds me of the football pro model that, that ASU has had set up. Is that something that pro model – maybe something that will transfer over to baseball or, or even the athletic department as a whole? Well, there's, there's no question that uh, we think the uh, pro model, as some folks like to call it, and that's okay, uh, has some advantages because, you know, you have folks here and certainly our, our baseball student athletes who come in here with aspirations to play at the next level, just like we do in football, just like we do in basketball. And so to the extent that you bring in head coaches and, and leadership and operation people and assistant coaches who have actually lived and been successful making that move from the collegiate ranks to the professional ranks, that's a plus. Uh, and so, yes, the thought that uh, professional uh, uh, experience at high levels could translate uh, and be a positive for us certainly uh, is part of the thinking in baseball. And last question for Ray, Michael. Yeah, Ray, Michael Karras, you know, believe in the Pac-12. Great to see you. Good you see talk you, about, you, thank you. You talk about, obviously, Willie's passion for the program and having played in it. Well, you have to recruit coaches. So what, were, what are some, I guess, nuggets, words of wisdom that you would give him, obviously, as he, you know, goes into the recruiting end now, too, and getting players in? I mean, you have to recruit coaches to a high level. Now he's got to get these players in here. What are, what are some of your words of advice to him? Uh, be yourself. When you get to know Willie uh, as being as authentic and passionate uh, and uh, as genuine a person as he is uh, about uh, life, but certainly about uh, his passion and love and his uh, desire to help propel ASU baseball to really, really elite levels that we haven't seen in a while, I think that will translate well uh, with recruits and parents uh, and coaches and others, uh, and it will translate well uh, to our current roster of players uh, who uh, should hopefully recognize the intense uh, uh, way forward that this opportunity presents uh, through Willie and the coaches that he will uh, select to stay with him to advance this program.